to lay down a mighty heart town? Anything that was possible, but now... Interesting. Best and blessings to you. Welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders 3. I'm Burning Dogface, and I've just added another level to the Lance of Scorn. You have returned in triumph. Hell yes, I have. We hear you've had many victories. A rousing delivery. So many humans. We hear you've had many victories. You have returned in yeah, triumph. Yeah, there was a line there where, uh... That guy sounded really impressed about that. You've killed a great many sins, uh, horseman. I like that, you know, someone directly acknowledging it. Let's see if this uh, upgrade goes any better. Merchant, As I return to the void to face Ionos. This time, I'm not leaving until I'm done. Get the elevator transition ready, because I'm going to need it. Here we go. Now everything is stronger than a Chains of Scorn, except the ones I never upgraded. Still haven't figured out that. I was thinking of going with this one because it reminds me of both of uh, Fury's brothers that we've already met. Since it's a great big sword, you know, like wars, uh, not as big as wars, uh, and because it divides in half like Death's weapons. Damn it, me! Did you say ow? Really nice. Less nice, admittedly. Face! I guess that was the, uh, the, the, the leap back uh, attack with this thing. Neutral dodge. Uh, yeah, sort of a pole vault move. Oh, you can't dodge over it, huh. Or maybe the timing has to be more specific than that. Fuck yeah! Oh, that was a delicious amount of damage. And I'm not just saying that because the funny sex number made up most of it. it doesn't count. If there's a zero in it, everyone knows that. Alright, I'll admit it, I did not mean to stomp there. I guess I was trying to dodge in midair. Fuck! Someday I will dodge that attack, but today is not that day. Apparently. <laughs> Yeah, once I get used to that one, I should never be hit by it. Let's do this. Yeah, too far. Eh. Back up before he does the other one. Hell yes! That's an almost decent amount of damage! Ow. Uh, there you go. Since I never seem to get that dodge quite right on that one. My flesh, I need that to continue fighting. Okay, now that I'm corporeal again, let's go feel, uh, kill that guy. All right. Oh, I wasn't looking to the forward to this. Wish me luck, burning dog vans. Jump cut.
Okay, first attempt didn't go so well, but uh, I wanted to record this bit and actually include it in the episode because I realized during that uh, fight that once he's got the swords out, that move where he just sort of drags the, the lightning sword along the ground and throws lightning at you, it's straight up Dovox's move where he throws ice at me. I hated that move. Great! Oh god, no! Are you fucking kidding me? I'm going to include that clip, because, uh, that's the one where we learn that he has a third fucking stage. Great! Hell yes. Some of my best work. Interesting. Take care. And, uh, watch your back, eh? You best believe. This is the twelfth attempt since the jump cut. Last three dodges are all me attempting to do that. I'm sorry about you, brothers. It was a misunderstanding. But this? I'm gonna enjoy this. Yeah, okay. 
Here we go. Oh, I hate that. He's mixing them up. Great. Bring it! I rise, you fall! Oh shit! Achievement unlocked. Keeper of Colossal Automata. Defeat Void Defender Construct. I mean, that isn't what he was called, but I'll allow it. Now what? Okay, just a moment. Okay. I guess that's happened. 
I talk to you, do you say anything about this? Oh, mighty horseman, justice has been restored to the serpent holes. Give me one good reason why I should not end your life. An entire species is extinct because of your greed and treachery. Their blood is on your hands, not mine. A little more bloodshed wouldn't hurt them, now would it? Killing me would be short-sighted. You have yet to receive your tastiest reward. Retribution is the only reward I seek, Fulgrim. Perhaps your hide for a throw rug. Delightful as that sounds, perhaps something more useful would satisfy. Something like... free use of the serpent holes for you and your kin from now until eternity. That is the very least that you could offer, fiend. Try again. Oh, all right, fine. You really are quite <clears throat> convincing when you want to be, Fury. <sighs> there is another item that might interest you. I don't part with it easily, but... Is that... Abyssal armor? Oh, shit! More than fair compensation for your good work, no? Come on, what's done is done. Make a trade. I keep my life and get on with business as usual. You receive the Abyssal armor and continue your horsemanship in style. Hand it over and leave my sight before I change my mind, demon. What a valuable relationship we have, Fury. I said be gone, you snake! Fuck yeah, Abyssal Armor. This was the strongest armor in Darksiders 1 and 2. And it looked fucking rad on war. I don't think I ever got my hands on it in uh, Darksiders 2. I don't remember why. What would you ask of this humble merchant? Farewell for now. <laughs> well, thank you, Storm Armor. You really carried me across the last little way. Abyssal Armor. Let's see. Plus 10% physical and arcane damage right off the top. Plus 14% physical and arcane damage reduction. Plus 90 health regenerated per minute. That's pretty much as good as that fully uh, upgraded enhancement. Plus 10 amount of wrath bar <laughs> generated per minute. Oh, I mean, I'd, I'd want to put one of these back on if I was going to shatter some crystals, but god damn! Forged in secret by the Mad Smith for the four horsemen shortly after they swore an oath of allegiance to the Charred Council. Each horseman's armor was specially fashioned to enhance their power and, inha and, and innate abilities. The armor was hidden away and meant to be utilized for the eventual end times. However, Fury's abyssal armor was thought to be lost or possibly stolen by a cunning demon. God damn it. Holy shit! The screaming mouth in the chest is really a nice centerpiece. Huh. And they took the screams off of the... Uh, oh no, there is a skull there They can still have its eyes light up when uh, the Watcher wants to talk. And there you have it! The reward for the keeper, uh, Keepers of the Void DLC was the Abyssal Armor. I guess that means they made it DLC, which is kind of lame, but, uh... Damn! Oh, I love the horns. Oh, the color changes! Well, doesn't that just beat all? <laughs> and there's the timer. Perfect timing. Um, I'm 
I'm burning dog face, and uh. Oh. Oh, there's a shooty guy right here. Damn it. So yeah, I guess that'll about wrap it up for the Keepers of the Void DLC. There are still a couple things I want to do here, like go back and find some items that I think I passed by since I didn't have the right hollows, and uh, go back to the Force uh, Wing and deal with that one island with the, uh, the Jerkwads on it. But, uh... Oh look, it's got little wings! <laughs> That's a hell of a prize. Still not pleased that Volgrim Leo had me go exterminate the stone marauders, or at least the keepers, but... Damn if it doesn't look good. Definitely feels like an appropriate reward for the challenge. So before I call it, I would like to give a very special shout-out to my good friend Ronan Drake, who gifted me this DLC chapter. Thanks, Drake. This has been one hell of a challenge. But I can't really argue with the results. So, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Darksiders 3. When, uh, I guess we deal with the next thing on our to-do list, which was dropping off the soul of Abraxas with the guy who asked for it. Later.